Nomu is one of the best beginner-friendly investing platforms available. It offers security, an easy-to-follow platform, and lots of bonus features when you first sign up. These include 6.8% return on your uninvested money, up to 10 free stocks, and $2,000 worth of brokerage fees for free. This offer is available for all Australian users for the first 30 days. So let's jump straight into the app with all of its different swiping features. It's like Tinder, but for things that will actually make you money. So firstly, you'll need an account. To do this, you either need to download the app from the Google Play or App Store, or you can also just make an account online by searching Moomoo directly into your browser. Click on the first link, and then in the top right corner, it'll have an option to create Create an account. Now, if you don't have much money when you're first getting started, make sure to check out my affiliate link in the description box that can give you up to 10 free stocks and all the other bonuses we talked about at the beginning of the video. Making an account with any investing platform is very straightforward. It's much the same as setting up a profile on Instagram or Facebook, but you'll also need some extra pieces of info like driver's license or passport, just something to verify your identity to add an extra layer of security to the platform itself. So it's all common practice to provide that little bit of extra detail with any investing platform, regardless of which one you're using. So now we'll jump into one of the most important parts for any investing platform, and that's knowing all of its features. So once you jump onto the home screen of Moomoo, there's going to be a few different tabs that you can look at. So in the bottom left corner, there's the watch list, and this is where you can add some of your favorite investments, particularly ones that you might be interested and buying sometime in the future. You can spread this out amongst the different stock markets offered by Moomoo. So you can look at specific Australian companies. You can see on mine, I've got BHP and Commonwealth Bank. And then you can also take a look at the US market as well with stocks like Nvidia and Apple. And then also the Hong Kong stock market. If you just want to have a general watch list, you can have selected as all and it will show you all the different investments. Then there's also the markets tab and you can take a look at major indexes like the Dow Jones, NASDAQ and the S&P 500. It'll give you some good information like the rating for a buy recommendation for different companies. You can see Apple was in here as well. It has a heat map of different sectors in the market so you can get a good idea of how the overall market is progressing and this might help influence some of your buying and selling decisions. If you scroll further down, it can give you some calendar events, featured investments and then also some news about certain companies and expectations for the trend or the type of return that you can expect to get. So you can get a lot of information on this tab and they have this for all the different countries. So you can see for the US, you can see for Australia as well, showing the ASX 200, some of the major indexes, and then also some company recommendations and economic events that are happening that might influence the Australian market. There's also sections for different investment types. So ETFs, you can look at options, the crypto market as well. There's a whole variety of different things here. You can even take a look at some precious metals as well or Forex. So there's a whole variety of different investment options that you can learn about from this tab. Then if we go over to account, this is where you can fund your account, look at your portfolio, look at previous investments that you've made. And this is where you can get access to the 6.8% return on your uninvested cash. So from this screen as well, if you click on the more tab, it has some extra features so you can deposit your money, exchange one currency for another. So if you're buying an American stock like Apple and you're depositing your AUD or your Australian dollar, you're going to have to convert that to the US dollar. And there's a small fee for this. There's some information to help you with any tax filings as well on this tab. So there's a few nice extra features on here. So in terms of the fee for your currency exchange, if you're converting 1000 AUD into the US dollar, it's going to be $5.50 USD to convert your money. It's pretty similar pricing amongst all brokers. Lumu and Comsec have the same pricing with the currency conversion. Self Wealth is a little bit higher at $60 US dollars and Stake is the highest and that's $7 US dollars. And in terms of the cost you have to pay whenever you buy or sell a company for the Australian market, it's 0.03% of your investment or 3 AUD, whatever value is higher. Normally it's 
it's going to be 3 AUD. For the US market, technically it's 0.99 USD, so basically one US dollar per investment, and those are some of the cheapest fees available on any broker. So this makes Moomoo very competitive with the amount of analyst ratings and data that you have access to, and also the very cheap fees that it offers as well. So Moomoo is also chess sponsored, so that means that these stocks are held in your name and they're not held on the platform itself. So this adds a lot of extra security and you can see the pricing for Moomoo in comparison to its competitors as well. So if you were to invest $10,000 into the Australian market on Moomoo, it's going to cost you three AUD, whereas Comsec will be just under $20. And you can see that it's cheaper amongst all the other competitors listed on the chart as well. This trend continues for the American market as well. If you wanted to buy 100 shares of a US company it'll be 99 US cents on Moomoo but then on Comsec it's just under $20. Now Moomoo isn't a whole lot cheaper than steak but it's still cheaper overall. Steak is going to be 3 US dollars and that 2 US dollar difference does add up over time. When it comes to topping up your account you can do this through a bank transfer, BPay or Pay ID. and if you want to get access to the free stocks you have to put at least $100 onto the platform and that'll give you three free stocks. And if you maintain a balance of 2000 AUD or more for 30 days, then you'll of course get the initial three free stocks where you deposit that money. And if you maintain that 2000 AUD balance for the 30 day period, at the end of the 30 days, you'll get an extra seven free stocks. So if you wanna maximize your returns, if you maintain that higher balance, then you'll get access to some extra shares to help with all these extra bonus features that might sound a little bit too good to be true. How is Moomoo able to pay out all of this extra money and is it actually safe to leave your money on the platform as well? So let's jump into the security offered by the platform. So firstly all the Australian dollars on the Moomoo platform are held separately in HSBC Bank and Commonwealth Bank of Australia. The funds from customers are held in a external third party and are not mixed together with the business funds for the Moomoo platform. And customers and the shares are also held by a third party as well. And the US dollars are kept on the MUFG Bank of Australia, again, separate from the business funds. Some of its features like the 6.8% return on uninvested money has already been launched successfully and safely in Singapore and Hong Kong. Moomoo is also owned by a very large company called Futu Holdings. And this isn't just some random business that you can find next door. Futu Holdings is a publicly listed company on the NASDAQ with a market value of $9.4 billion. So anything that's publicly listed and has a valuation of that size is going to have a lot of intense financial scrutiny placed on it and it'll have some very strict regulations that it has to follow. So with investors' funds being held separately, if something were to happen to the Moomoo platform and it goes bankrupt, the investors' or the customers' money is held separately from the funds that are used for the business. And that means that creditors won't have access to clients' funds. There is also 24 hours of support on Moomoo Monday to Friday. If there's any specific questions that you want to ask them in terms of security, platform layout, or just anything you want to know to help you get a better experience using Moomoo. Now we'll jump into how to actually make an investment using the platform. So in the top right corner, there's a search icon, and then you just type in the stock that you're wanting to invest in. So let's just go for Apple, click on it in the top right corner. And here you can see the price of the stock is currently 227 US dollars. There's a stock chart as well that gives you a good bit of detailed info about that company and the performance that it's had. If you scroll down, you can take a look at some extra financial information about the business, like a trade overview, the profit ratio, money flow, and also some extra indicators at the bottom as well. So again, a lot of nice information to help inform your buying or selling decision of that particular stock. You can take a look at the company itself, the analyst ratings, the morning star research, P ratio, company valuation, and then also there's the news tab as well that will show you some potential things that may affect the performance of that stock. So if we go back to Apple and we want to buy this particular investment, in the bottom left corner, you click on trade and then press 
buy. So from here, when you go to buy the shares, you can buy fractional shares of the company. You don't have to buy a whole share for $227. You can just invest $20 if you wanted. So I always go with market buy, and that's just buying shares of the company at the current market price. If you want to do fractional investing, in the bottom left, change from quantity to amount. So quantity will be the number of shares, but amount is dollar value invested. So if we just want to buy $10, we can do that right there. The last thing is just clicking that buy button at the bottom of the screen, and then those shares will be purchased for you, and they'll show up in your Moomoo account. At first, this process might seem complicated, but once you've done it a few times, buying shares on Moomoo is just as easy as ordering your favorite dinner on Uber Eats. It's done in a few seconds, and you don't even have to think about it. Knowing how to use an investing platform is just part of the process of making money in the stock market. You also have to know the best place to invest it should you buy stocks, ETFs, crypto. There's so many options available. And if you pick the wrong one, you could end up losing all or most of your investment. That's why it's important to check out this video to avoid some of the most common beginner mistakes that people make when they first start investing.